February is American Heart Month, and making simple lifestyle choices can really improve your health and lower your risk of heart disease. Joining us now with more is Robert Walker, Program Director of Ekahi Health. Good morning and welcome, Robert. Good morning. Tell me more about what February is all about. So, since 1964, we've been celebrating American Heart Month in February. And it's really to raise the awareness of how many people we lose every year in the United States uh, due to heart disease. And that's approached about 17 and a half million people every year that die of that disease. It's actually the number one killer in the United States. And what is the connection between heart disease and diabetes? So diabetes is looked at as one of the leading risk factors for developing heart disease. So diabetes is marked by having high sugar in the blood. And having that high sugar um, actually causes damage in small arteries, like in our eyes and around our nerves and our extremities, uh, which actually causes, in, in the long run, it can cause uh, blindness, neuropathy, or, or nerve damage. So tingling in the feet and the arms, um, and it can lead up to that cardiovascular disease as the arteries in the heart actually get damaged as well. So there's a direct connection between diabetes and heart disease, um, and about 80% uh, of the folks in Hawaii are at risk of developing heart disease. 80%. And at Ekahi Health, you can help address both of these diseases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so make, making simple lifestyle changes is one approach to reduce the risk of both diabetes and cardiovascular disease. So by making these lifestyle changes, you can reduce your risk of heart disease by about 80% and about 60% for diabetes. And those lifestyle changes uh, really take in everything that we do. So how we eat, um, how we manage our medicine, um, how we um, exercise, how would we respond to stress, and what is our support network around us. Making sure that we do all of those things quite well, and that actually can help us prevent ever developing heart disease or diabetes. Because it's not just about eliminating a certain food group, or it's, it's all encompassing. Yes, it is. Um, so you can go on crash diets and you know, lose weight and mm -hmm. do what the, that does. But if you're looking at sustaining those lifestyle changes, looking at everything that you're doing in your life, so um, again, if you're eating well, but you're stressed all the time, you get a high um, amount of cortisol in your blood. So that cortisol actually in increases your uh, blood sugar, it increases your cholesterol. So even though you're eating well, you may not have good numbers when it comes down to it. So looking how stress, exercise, the support network, and food all interact some people, yeah, because some people are thinking, I'm eating better, I'm exercising, but the scale, the number's still not budging, mm -hmm. so it's much more than that. How can people learn about that and much more at Ekahi Health? So the easiest way is to go to ekahihealth.com or give us a call at 774000 or just come down to our waterfront clinic and we'll be happy to see you there. Okay, and we'll have all that on our website. Robert, thank you for stopping by. Thank you. We'll have much more after the break. Stay with us.